Uh. What's good, YouTube? What's good? We on a video making spree right now. If you ain't know, we on a video making spree right now. If you ain't know, we three videos in right now. This is about to be the third one, bro. I need y'all to lock in and like go like make sure y'all watching this. Like I know y'all got nothing else to do, bro. Y'all sitting here in y'all beds, you know, just just laying in the complete dark. You're not seeing anybody. You got no girls with you, and you just you just have nothing to do. So what else better is there to do than just to turn on YouTube and put on its foxes? Stop wasting your time. You, 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 you only get oh so much time in the world. Your, your time is your money and all of it is so valuable. And you're still not choosing to yet go and turn on its foxes. Go ahead, I'll, I'll wait. Alright then, perfect, yeah? Alright. <laughs> All right, we third third video down or not down in the making, right? Um, hold on, let me let me just. In this, uh, I didn't mean to start the video, but I just want to make sure I have enough space for this. So, uh, we'll be real quick. Uh, my fault, guys. I'm I'm gonna cut this out. Trust me. Hey, I'm over here. Uh, getting rid of the the 3D 2Y stuff. Um, pretty sure y'all. If you haven't, go see the second one, bro. Like, come on, bro. I drop vlogs in chronological order, bro. You got to watch it. Even though they're from December and they drop in now in April, doesn't mean you shouldn't be watching them, bro. Like, come on, bro. What are y'all doing, bro? Like, come on, y'all. Like, jeez. All right, my fault, y'all. Um, five signs you're a feminine man. Uh, A lot of y'all is bitches, man. <laughs> I can't even front. Some of y'all niggas is hoes, and we about to figure out how y'all some hoes, bro. Listen, you can either get offended by this video, or you you can learn from your mistakes and you can reflect on them. There's only there's only oh so many ways you can go about this. Now you can sit there and eat a bitch about it, or you could be a man and change your ways about it. Other than that, I'm gonna let my boy FedEx Fearless do the talking. Video. I'm gonna tell you the five signs that you are a feminine man guys a lot of men are going down the opposite road i'm here to reel men back in because too many men are becoming too feminine yeah, i sincerely some, believe a lot of us y'all some hoes bro like y'all really on some like yo y'all some hoes bro like stop acting like a little bitch bro like stop being a bitch come on to being programmed and being ruined so i gotta be the big brother to to say hey you know what you gotta change this stuff and this is what you need to start doing to not be like this and these are signs that you you're already considered a feminine guy let's jump right into the video number one you watch porn literally before I oh my gosh bro i can go into a rabbit hole about watching porn bro like you bro you a lot of the niggas that you see watch porn and stuff like you could really you could pick them out in public bro like they just be like watching porn, bro. It makes you mad, socially awkward, bro. Like, it makes you real, real, real weird, bro. Because you watch so much of it, it it, it gets rid of your 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 natural human interactions to the point where it's like, you you go to a supermarket or you go into a public setting, you talk to a girl. The only thing that's on your mind is sex, bro. Like, that ain't realistic, bro. Like, mm, I can. I can go on all day, but like I said, I'ma let my I'ma let my do I'ma let my ball my dog do Start talking. This video. I'm looking on Instagram, I go to explore page and all I see is nothing but girls half naked. I'm having to click not interested, not interested, not in like it's like society wants you to be obsessed with this shit. They wanna feed you content that makes you weak. They wanna feed you content that makes you easily susceptible to your own urges. It's like us men were controlled by our lust. Mm -hmm. If you watch porn, you are controlled by your lust. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck what nobody says about uh, placebo, placebo, placebo my ass. Ain't no placebo about it. I've referred to this book several times and I'm gonna refer to it again. If you really wanna understand and just see the kind of damages that porn does to your brain. Because it does. I highly recommend that you guys read the book, Your Brain on Porn. 
See just how far this thing takes your mind, how bitter it makes you, how skewed it makes your reality, and how it makes you less of a man. It doesn't make you more of a man. Destroys your testosterone, destroys your confidence, de destroys your ambition, makes you gloom. Ain't no fucking placebo about that. Anybody that's denying that is a liar. My goal is to encourage more men to not watch porn. It makes you easier to control. If you can't control your hands and your brain to not touch yourself watching pixels, do you think you're easier or harder to control? <laughs> Yeah, this nigga, this nigga is cooking y'all right now, bro. I hope y'all changing y'all ways, bro. He cooking y'all right now. <laughs> Think about it, bro. If you can't fucking stop yourself from touching yourself to a random woman that doesn't know you exist, with another man, by the way. Think about what that makes you do. You're a straight male. But if you're not, there's no problem. I support everybody. You should not be that comfortable watching another man. Think about what, what porn has done to you. It has made you super comfortable watching another man's junk watching another man get pleasure you tell me that's not sickening you tell me that's not there's nothing weird about that nothing is weird about you being able to look at another dude see him fully naked having fun with another girl no red flags for you about that that you you are perfectly okay with that because that's a little weird to me that's why i stopped i don't want to see y'all's junk i'm sorry dog i'm good i damn sure don't want to see another man's junk who's doing it with a girl that i don't even know I don't want to watch another man be pleasured with a woman that I want to be pleasured with. I would rather go be with that woman in real life. He cook. When you don't put in the work to be the kind of man that the woman wants, what do you say. do? You go and you search it up. You watch it. You get your lotion. And then you ride back to a, a weaker state. You think it's a, you think it's a mistake? You think it's, it's, it's a coincidence that you feel like shit after you watch porn? You think it's a mistake? that you are angry at yourself when you watch it? Why do you think that is? It's your body and your mind telling you this is not the right thing for you. It makes you easier to control. It makes you more feminine, less ambitious. The amount of courage you gonna have when your only satisfaction comes from a flesh is unbelievable. I'm telling you, all you motherfuckers with approach anxiety, all your approach anxiety, all your nervousness, women will go out the window. if. The only way you can get pleasure is with a real woman. You gonna be all type of bold, all type of confident. Cause there is no. And I say that, I say that, bro. You you watching porn, bro? You be mad, socially awkward, but niggas don't want to hear that. Niggas just want to do what they want to do. And again, you could do whatever you want, but you can't have the best of both worlds, Buckarooney. By the way, there is no easy cop out. Porn is an easy cop out that controls and ruins your mind as a man. So stop doing it. For the life of me get rid of me personally i know he was talking about you know like it's better to have the flush which i can agree semen retention dog go on that semen retention bro see how your life changed bro and i ain't talking about like no week or like no 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 month like go on semen retention for at least six months come back to me bro you will see huge ass difference from the way you was living this thing it is ruining who you are. Number two, you have female friends. Female friends and female associates are two different things. Let me make that very, very clear. There can be women in your life that you are associates with. Um, you guys may have done business together or you just know each other, blah, blah, blah. That's not what I mean. Friend is a big word. I don't have that many friends. Friends are people that I, that I have a lot, of, a lot of loyalty to. I will give the shirt off my back to. I will go above and beyond for them. That's what a friend means to me. And I will hope they will be willing to do the same for me. A lot of men are not friends with women. You're tolerating her because you would like to sleep with her eventually. You want to get in them guts. You want to be all in it. You're playing, you're playing a sideline. You're playing a friend route in hopes that she eventually lets you hit. Eventually lets you hit. There's a girl that goes to my gym. And I'll say this story on my live stream. But it's unbelievable to me, right? This girl goes to my gym, guys, and I know she has a boyfriend because she lives in my building. And I know she lives with her boyfriend because they live in my building. But this girl, every single day, is working out with some dude. Her boyfriend doesn't come to work out with her. I don't know what he's doing with his life, but letting his girlfriend get work out with random dudes at the gym. Crazy. I, I couldn't help but pay attention to a girl that I know lives in my building, is working out with random men when I know she lives with her boyfriend. And it's just crazy to me. I'm looking at the guys who she's working out with. Hey, it's an evil world we live in, but it's none of my business. 
It's none of my business. It's none of my business. It's none of my business. They're like all pretending like they're friends. Oh, and I know they want to hit. I know they want to hit. She got a fat ass too. I know. I know they want to hit. I'm like, how weak of you as a man do you have to be for you to be pretending to be friends with a girl that you know you want to sleep with or you know you would sleep with if she gave you the opportunity? How weak of a man do you have to be? There's no way a woman that I find sexually attractive, I'm going to allow myself to be put in a friend zone like that. That is a feminine trait. If I find a girl attractive, I want to get in them guts. I'm <laughs> <laughs> no friends over here. Especially if I'm attracted to you sexually, right? I'm not gonna pretend that I'm not attracted to you sexually to be your friend. We can be cool and be fucky. <laughs> we, we could do that. I mean, we could chill and kick it and I'll be in them guts. But I'm a man, right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna subdue my nature because it, it, no, I'm a man. I'm a man's man. And men, men's men, a man with a high testosterone ain't running around being friends with girls that he would want to hit. That's cowardly. That's weak. Now, unless you have no intentions of ever sleeping with this girl, no intentions of ever being anything more. If this is a girl to you. I, I can see where he's coming from with this one, but I don't entirely agree. You know, like I, I, I like playing the friend route first because I need to see where your mind is at first before I'm like. You know, we could we could take this further. Like, I just I just need to see where that mental is, and then like, after a while, I'll be like, yeah, you could either be here, or you could be here. Like, just based off of you know the what you do for fun, if you going out and partying, you drinking all that stuff for fun. Like, I'm probably gonna be like, no, nah, I never take you serious. Like, what I hit. That's a whole different me and potatoes. But I I see what he's saying. Like I like I'm not gonna like cut it all off because like I realize the kind of person you are. I'm not one to judge. But like we could be friends, we could be cool, like you could say what's up, you not know, have a slight conversation, you know. Like I'm not about to not treat you like you still human. Like you you definitely, you know, are a person, like we gonna talk and stuff, but I get where he coming from, you know, I'm not about to like just fully submit like I'm on some like I'm cool off you, but like if you wanna talk, you need somebody to talk to, you need somebody to, you know, make you laugh and giggle. Or you need a, a shoulder to cry on. Get another guy because 'cause I'm not him. You that you under no circumstance will ever sleep with, then maybe you can consider her your friend. But if you would hit that, that's not your friend, bro. It's not your friend. A lot of you guys right now are with women or you're in friend groups with women or you know women that if they threw you that ass, you would take it. You would slam dunk that motherfucker. All in them guts without hesitation. So are you really her friend? Between the legs, East Bay behind the back, 360. Mm. Or, are you just, or are you just being a bitch? Well, which one is it? Because I'm a man. This is not mean I can't have cordial relationships please do not take what i'm saying out of fucking context and make it i'm that does not mean that you can't be cordial you can be cordial with a girl i can know women but i'm not friends that's a big word bro associates being cordial with somebody doesn't mean i, I can see what you mean because i only got like a couple of friends too or people that i claim to be friends and that's because like we either go way back or like we real close like on some like we on the same type of timing we were friends i'm sure i'm cordial with a lot of women we're not friends we're not out here kicking it on the couch watching movies together when i'm dreaming about stroking her shit. no nah, that's weak to me man that's some car that's a cowardly move so i would never let myself be a friend with a woman build a relationship with her like that where i know i want to sleep with her we can be cordial Hi and bye. Wish wish you a good life, but friends, there's some intimacy in friendship. Doesn't have to be sexual all the time, but there's a, there's some there's some love and feelings for a friend. You care about that person deeply. I wouldn't let myself get into that kind of relationship with a girl that I also know that I would want something with sexually. That's weak to me. If you have a girl that you want to sleep with, you have desires for, don't be her friend. Tell her you want something romantic. And she says, no, you move on. A, a man's man can accept rejection. 
a weak feminine man is gonna play the friend route in hopes of eventually smashing the girl. Number three, you're not trying to retire your parents. I love my mother, love her to death. She took care of me. Trying to work, bro, but it's getting harder and harder, and that's not an excuse, but that is the goal. Buy my Dukes a house, bro. I will get it done. I will get it done. Buy my Dukes a house. Me, my dad died when I was one years old. Like, I love my mom. I'm going to do anything to take care of her, right? I think a lot of men, you have no pride, no sense of pride in taking care of your family. Now, I will say this. Let me make this clear. If you have family members who haven't done shit for you, I ain't saying you got to go break your back for them. If your family members haven't been a part of your life, they haven't done shit for you, mama, daddy, whoever it is, if you feel like there was never a relationship, I, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it, bro. You don't got to go above and beyond for them. I, I respect that. But if your mom is anything like my mom, took the sweat off her back, like did everything for you, brought you to a new country, immigrant family, first generation, did all this stuff to provide you better opportunities, and you're not doing everything in your power to give them the last few decades, give them freedom, that's crazy, bro. You spit everywhere, that's but crazy. yeah, nah, I get you, bro. You're now here busting your butt to make more income, to retire that person, those parents of yours that you say you love and care, like, if you're not going to sacrifice for yourself, but at least sacrifice for them. Because they didn't have the opportunities we have today. My mom, when she was growing up, didn't have uh, YouTube and social media and all this information on the internet, chat, GPT. She they didn't have these opportunities. We they weren't blessed with these, these opportunities. You are. So if you're point. sitting there and you're fucking your life away, ruining your life, not doing much, and you have parents that have sacrificed for you tremendously, it is extremely selfish and weak. To not be trying to give back to them in some kind of way. If you're a grown adult male and you have parents that you know did their all for you, how are you okay with being regular and average? When you know you have better opportunities now. When you know what you're what you're presenting with in the marketplace, you can create a lot of fortune with. And they didn't. And you're okay just doing nothing. You're okay just being regular, bro. Damn, bro. If you ain't gonna do it for yourself, do it for them. I only encourage you to do this for family that you believe has done a lot for you. I'm not talking about no deadbeats who ain't did nothing for you. I'm not saying you got to go break your back for them. I'm talking about family members, mom, dad, that, that did a lot for you. Got to repay those people in some kind of way. Karma is a real thing, man. If your parents did a lot for you, they gave you all they can give you and you don't sacrifice for them. You don't, you don't work extra hours. You don't put in extra work. You rather be average. You rather be okay. And they still have to go fucking work. They got some of you motherfuckers, your parents are in their, in their 60s, 70s, 50s. They still having to get up and go to work, bro. You a 30-year-old man. Your parents uh, in, in their in they 60s. Still having to get up every morning and go to, go to a job, bro. They got a few decades left. You sitting up there chilling, smoking and drinking, partying, think you got it made, think you got time. But the people who sacrifice for you don't got, they still having to work. That's insane to me. Should be trying to make their life as easy as possible. My mom only works because she wants to. She doesn't want to do nothing. She doesn't want to not do nothing. She didn't. If she if she want if she wanted to just chill, she don't got to worry about it. All right, you got you got to have that pride, man. Hey, man, my parents did a lot for me. I'm gonna do for them. Number four, you cheat on women, guys. I've had so many guys message me, hey, fit. Should I have a side chick if I have a girlfriend? Uh, should I still be talking to girls when I have a girlfriend? I've learned from my mistakes. I wouldn't do it again. But I ain't about to be like, I've never done it, but. Yeah. Be loyal. Especially if you're gonna be a relationship. If you're gonna if you're gonna live that type of way, but stay single. Focus on yourself. But if you if you gonna make a girl a girl your girlfriend, then keep it above, bro. Be loyal. Friend. That is the most cowardly shit you can do as a man. You know why? Because it says that you're scared of the girl. I'm not scared of any girl. If I want to sleep with other women, I'm going to be single. Or at least make it clear to the girl I'm with that I am doing this. I'm not going to try to disrespect her, put it in her face, etc., etc. But I'm not going to be sneaking, hiding, lying, telling her that I'm not. I'm only being with her when I'm fucking other girls. That's That's cowardly, bro. If you want to be, if you want to sow your royal oats, bro, you want to have fun. It's natural. You are a man. Don't never let anybody tell you that the desires you have as a man 
that they need to be subdued because you need to act a certain way. Act like a professional, act like a, a, a mature person, but you're a man, bro. If you want to have your fun and experience and, and understand, I think that is, you have every right to do so. Because women damn sure do. Women damn sure date whoever the fuck they want to date and then pick pick the one at the finish line. So ain't no fucking way I'm not going to be able to do the same. I don't think that's fair. So if, if they get to do it, why can't I? All right. So if I want to date other women, I want to sleep with other women, I have every right to do so as long as I'm, as long as I'm being honest with the girl. Yeah. If you're over here lying to her, hiding stuff from her, telling her you're doing this when you're doing that, you're weak, man. You, you're a coward. You're scared of her because mm. you're afraid that she will leave you. I'm not afraid of a girl leaving me. If you are not okay with what I'm doing, there's no problem. Here's the door. You can, you can go find a guy that you believe has this life that he's gonna give you where he only wants to fuck you. I'm not that guy, at least not at this moment. If I ever decide to never wanna fuck other girls, I'll let you know. Hmm. But right now, I'm gonna do my thing. It's not gonna be in your face. I'm gonna be respectful about it, but I'm not gonna be sitting up here lying. That's I'd rather bad. have my peace of mind, bro, than drama. He cooked. I'd rather have my peace of mind than he be cooked. hiding, acting like a coward with a woman. I'd rather be single. I would rather be single than, than deal with drama. Lastly, number five, you are overly emotional. I can't stress enough why it's so important to be. Yeah, as a man, bro, you need to be able to control your emotions because being overly emotional as a man will literally end you up either either dead or in jail, bro, because you don't know how to control your emotions. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot of problems. Like, if you've ever been to, like, prisons or jails and stuff, like, you'll realize, like, a lot of those men are not emotionally intelligent, you know? Like, as a man, bro, learn how to, you know, understand your emotions and how you're feeling, but be able to be in the, the, the like-mindedness to be able to pull back and think about it and be like, why that made you feel that way? Why this is making you feel this way? Like, because... Acting off your emotions make you do something real crazy. Be in control of your emotions. This is something that I've had to work on too, guys. Like I said, I'm not perfect. I'm not uh, the. Me too. I used to have real bad anger issues. I will be the last one to have, to say I'm perfect. I got a lot of flaws. A lot of things wrong with me too. I'm at least self-critical. One thing about me, I'm a, I'm self-critical. I can analyze my flaws and say, hey, I have these flaws. A lot of you guys think you're perfect. I'm not perfect. I sometimes, I, I'm, I have a very high temper. I'm quickly, easily triggered. I'm not a passive person at all. Being passive is not who I am at all. Not a single, I'm going to tell you how the fuck I feel regardless. But I've had to learn how to control my emotions, keep myself in check, act more stoic, because the decisions and the, and the things that I do, don't, they no longer affect me. They affect everybody around me. And if I'm sitting up here telling you guys, retire your parents, all this stuff, be this, be, be this professional stand-up guy. Well, guess what? You can't go do dumb shit either. I can't be out here doing stupid shit in the streets, getting in dumb ass trouble, because then, then it affects the people that I, I claim I care about. You see what I'm saying? So now I gotta be more conscious of the things that I do. Cause even if I might be upset about something, me reacting in a certain way, me getting into trouble, is not gonna just affect me. It's, it's gonna, gonna affect, affect everybody else. Me. My family, my friends, my team, they got people who are relying on me for a fucking living. There's no way I can make dumb, I could do dumb, dumb shit no more. That's a high level of responsibility. Don't be a passive little bitch where you letting people talk to you any kind of way. That's why I tell you guys, you guys need to learn how to fucking fight. Yeah. You need to learn how to throw some hands, yeah. defend yourself. Yeah. But I don't want you going start in trouble, being the fucking hot head, getting into stuff. Yeah. Remove yourself from the door. Yeah, remove yourself or de-escalate situations the best you can. And if you have to, fight. Like, if you have to, like, if it comes down to it, like, let that be, like, the last thing, bro. Don't don't be no crash dummy, bro. Those things. And I, I'm telling you guys, it's something that I am still working on. I am very uh, high-tempered. Very t my mom tells me my dad was the same way. I have to proactively remove myself from, from situations because I do not want to be in a position where somebody tells me something crazy Cause I'm not gonna let it slide. So I'm more proactive than anything. Type shit. If you if you have that kind of temper, be proactive. Even if you have that kind of temper, understand that the decisions you make no longer affect you. Can't be emotional. Can't let how you feel 
control you. Yes, I might be upset. Yes, I might be angry. Yes, I might want to knock this motherfucker out. But if I do this, I might go to jail. I might be locked up. I'm just going to put my business in jeopardy. Put the people who work for me in jeopardy. They might not be able to pay their bills. Now their family is fucked up. Now, like, because I want to be a fucking idiot. Because I want to be an idiot. Because I want to be selfish. I want to be egotistical. I want to think I'm the big bad wolf. Yeah, I want to think that I'm, nobody can touch me. That's, that's stupid. So you can't be easily triggered. Can't be easily moved off center. If you want to call yourself a man, a masculine man, a man's man. And that's it, guys. This is, these are signs that you are a feminine man. Control yourself, change these things, and you're going to be a man's man. man. Clap it up for my boy for that. Nah, he cooked. He cooked, bit though. You cooked. Because, hey. I can see that. I can see that. A lot of these dudes, you, you really do need to be able to work on self-reflecting because this shit crazy. This shit crazy. This shit crazy. It's in the, in the kind of society that it's starting to turn to. It's like not even just men. People are just losing all sorts of focus. And in all sorts of way of living, everything has changed, bro. It's like it's weird, bro. So hey, keep God in your life. That's that's the best thing I can tell you. Keep God in your life. He will make things right for you. But hey, third video finally down. Um, I think I'm gonna do one more. I'm kind of tired of sitting in this seat, but make sure y'all go show this video around. Um, go show yo gym, bro. Go show yo little brother. Go show your older sister, and go show go show your uncle, bro. And um, I catch y'all in the next one. Make sure y'all show them the next one too, and the ones before that. Do it. Do it.